Good morning guys, it's Mandy. Um, I thought today I would do a, um, a really quick little change and chat video. Um, I am going to tell you the story about my third cat, uh, who is Harley. And she is currently over here in the window. She's on top of my dress. Excuse me. She's on top of my dresser where I keep all of my baby things for the reborns. And she's looking at me right now. Hi, Harley. Hey, baby girl. You gonna come over here and see everybody? And here that we're changing, this is little Miss Nesta. And let's see if you can see her face a little bit better. She's so cute. She is the Ruby Awake sculpt by Bountiful Baby, and she was brought to life by Lily's Little Lovables. And she is a tiny, tiny little cuddle baby. Oh, here comes Harley. She is going to come over. So, we're going to get... She is still in the outfit she came in, so we are going to get her changed. I've got all of my little cuddle babies lined up over here on my bed. And that's where I like to keep them and store them. Where they can kind of be on display, but they're also safe. As long as they're bald, my kitties leave the babies alone. And all of my cuddle babies are bald. So, come here. So Harley was kind of our surprise kitty. So in the spring of um, this year, we um, were on Facebook and I saw that my, um, my former boss and very good friend had gotten a cat and she had originally posted her in Christmas of 2020. She was a Christmas gift. And she was overjoyed and excited to have her. She had been wanting a kitten for quite a while. Um, her kids are grown, and um, she sometimes, a lot of times, has her grandkids with her. And the, um, the kitten was a gift from her daughter. And, well, she had the kitten for about six months, and then she discovered that she was allergic. Um, so really she knew she was allergic from the beginning, but she adores her daughter, wanted to keep the kitten, fell in love with the kitten, and she kept the kitten until she could no longer just bear the allergies. And so she put on Facebook that she needed to rehome this kitten and she absolutely did not want to take her to a shelter. Well, I had originally from the beginning thought that this kitten was absolutely gorgeous and I was so happy for her and uh, we talked about her all the time and so I said, well, I'll take her or at least I'll, I'll keep her until, you know, we can find her a home. And we had our house by then, so it's not like we had a problem with having an additional um, baby, an additional kitty. These are a little big on her. These are newborn size, and she is, I think she's preemie size, but, you know, preemie clothes are sometimes hard to find, so, come here. Come here. She's so cute. Let me get her kind of arranged a little bit better. Here we go. Okay. And so, um, we agreed to take her, well, then... Guys, I'm such an idiot. Look, this is a onesie. I thought it was a top, so now I'm going to have to take her pants back off, but that's okay. Ooh, these snaps are difficult. There we go. This is one of the outfits I bought just recently at Once Upon a Child. I'm just going to scoot these down. I'm just going to scoot them on down. And then we'll put your onesie on you. So, um... Harley was, in, was going to come to us. Well, then um, her mama contacted us and said, my daughter is really, really upset with me. She does not want me to give the cat away. Um, 
she suggested to her that she could try different allergy medicines or maybe special food or a shot or whatnot and be able to keep the cat. And she loves her daughter. And um, so she agreed. So Harley did not come to us at that point. Well, about two weeks later, out of the blue, she contacts me on Facebook and she says, I am coming over right now. I've got Harley. Are you home? <laughs> and I said, uh, yeah, I'm home. What's going on? And she said that, well, my daughter finally relented. Um, you know, allergy medicine is not working. The shots, um, were really not something she wanted to do. And, um, the allergy medicine, the allergy, um, food that you could feed a cat was not working either. And so her daughter had finally relented. Oh, sorry. Your head's falling a little bit. Let's see. Up you go. So her daughter had finally relented and agreed to let her find a new home for the cat. So... <laughs> Out of the blue, here she is. She's at my door like five minutes later with cat in hand and a bunch of supplies, a cat tree, a carrier, all kinds of stuff. Um, so my cats ended up benefiting from that as well. But so that was how we got Harley. Um, she already had her name. Her full name is Harley Quinn because she has, um, she's my black and white kitten She's a little over a year old now, and um, she's called Harley Quinn because she has um, her coloring. She has a patch of black that goes down over one eye, and that patch of black does not go down over the other eye. Um, so they named her Harley Quinn, and um, she probably also would have been aptly named Domino, too, if you're going off of... Um, superheroes, female superheroes. She probably could have been named Domino, too, if you guys are familiar with who Domino is. I'm going to take her away for one moment and just straighten this out. Just kind of... There we go. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> so this is a little bit big on her, but that's okay. We probably really don't even need to do mittens. We can just pull these sleeves and just pull them right over her little hands. You would never want to do this with a real baby, guys. You would never, ever. For those of you who are young and might have babies of your own one day and or haven't had any, you would never want to actually do this on a real baby because they could put this up to their face while they sleep and they could suffocate. So don't have loose sleeves on a real baby. Um, make sure your sleeves are nice and snug with no room for baby's face to get kind of buried in them. So, there she is. There's little Miss Nesta. Let's see. Let me bring her up to the camera so you can see her. Isn't she beautiful? I love her so much. I just love that distracted, dark blue baby gaze. <laughs> I just think it's amazing. And I like her hair. She's got a little dent. But she's so sweet in this, isn't she? And it's really comfy. It's perfect for a cuddle baby. Let's see. Let's pull her in. Come here. Let's pull you in for a snuggle. There we go. I'm getting ready to go to work. But I thought I'd just film this real quick before I left. So, anyway... Well, that is it for today. Oh, and she is right behind me, so let's see. Harley. Harley. Here she is. Here she is. Oh, look. There's my... There's my cuddle babies. All asleep. Little cuddle bugs in a rug. And little Nesta here will soon join them. So, yeah. So, that's the video for today. I'll be back tomorrow because I'm going to uh, try to participate in um, Toddler Tuesday with Penny. 
um, who's my body sculpt. So, all right, guys. So until then, take care. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.